If you have a senior loved one who's ready to make the move to a, a senior living facility, maybe an assisted living facility, you need to know all the information. Yes, it's an emotional time, but it also can be a time when you, you got to look at your financials and figure it out. How can you save money? How can you keep the money in your pocket? Don't go broke in a nursing home. With me now is Jeff Goebel. Jeff is with uh, Elder Advisors. And also uh, we have with us Jeff Hurst. Jeff Hurst is with, I want to make sure I'm right, Remax East, right? Properties East, correct. Properties East, yeah. Remax Properties East. Correct. Okay, now there's a reason we have these two folks with us because they know exactly what you need to know and what will take place at a free workshop. So I'm going to go to you first, Tim. Okay, at these workshops, yes. what will people learn? Why do they need to attend? Well, they will learn that it's never too late. Even if they have a loved one already in a nursing home or uh, possibly in a nursing home next six months to a year, we can start to stop the money hemorrhaging. We can do something for them so they won't go broke in a nursing home. Uh, our workshop Monday night is the Hilton Garden Inn on Crittenden Drive and Tuesday morning at the Hampton Inn in Clarksville. Okay, so there's lots of moving parts here. I talked about the emotional side. Yes. Because you've got mom, dad, grandmother, grandfather who, you know, they become accustomed to living where they, but, th but they need help. Yes. Maybe they're forgetting to take their medication. They're not eating right. Maybe they've become somewhat of, um, I don't know, a hermit. They're not out socializing. They need a change. This is the best thing for them. There's that side of it. And then there's also the financial side. And there's a lot of moving parts here. Correct. Right? Yeah, yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. What makes uh, Elder Advisors unique is we sit down with the financial, we do the financial part. We also sit down with the attorney. We do a team approach and we, create a specific plan for you. We don't do a, a cookie cutter plan, you know, it's a plan unique designed for you. And a lot of times we work with Jeff at uh, Remax East to, if there's property involved, you know, we can help deal with the property issue. Yeah, Tim, with the ultimate goal, the ultimate goal, of course, is to put money in your pocket because if you don't know the rules, right. there are people that will take advantage of you. And I'm not talking about the facility necessarily, right. but to be able to get a help from Medicaid, Medicare, that right. kind of thing, that's important. And it, it's a very tricky process. Uh, you know, we ran into people who've tried to do it on their own. They get this uh, letter from the state. They're saying they're not qualified but they don't say why they're not qualified. They don't have to come to us and we'll figure it out. It might be an insurance policy that has uh, some cash value to it that mom and dad forgot about. Mm -hmm. And that would be a loan to knock them off Medicaid. There we go. Mm -hmm. All right, so you need to know all the information with the free workshops available via Elder Advisors. Advisors. Jeff Hurst, I want to talk to you a little bit. Okay, we talked about all of the different moving parts. You're one of those. Often there is real estate involved. So tell us about your partnership with Elder Advisors, uh, Advisors and what you do, Jeff. Right, I'm just one part of the uh, team for Elder Advisors, and uh, there's, like I said, usually if there's a home to sell, you want to get me involved so I can come in and tell the family what to do to get the house ready so that they can maximize their dollars, whether it's lighting, carpeting, painting, whatever it may be. But I always tell people, don't start till I get in there and let let you see what needs to be done because I'm like a new buyer's eyes. I know what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jeff, and, and much like every other, it seems like every little little entity is wanting to take advantage of you, and you want to make sure that doesn't happen. If you're told you need to sell your home, or if you realize, hey, this is what we want to do, this is what mom or dad wants us to do, they need a professional like you, and that you're a good part of the team here, a vital part of the team. Right. Well, and I actually became a client. You remember me telling you this, John? A year and a half ago, my parents became part of this as well. My dad went to a nursing home, and um, these guys help you through the red tape. My brother and I are fairly well-educated people, but there's a lot that needs to be done to get you from A mm -hmm. to Z to be able to protect mom and dad's assets so it's not all gone. So you've got the real estate side covered. Tim, let's talk a little bit about that other side. There's lots of paperwork, and sometimes you may be in a situation where that paperwork needs to be expedited. You don't yes. know what you're doing. I wouldn't know what I was doing, but you guys do. You know the people to contact. Right. Yeah, you know, for the filing, you have the more or less Turn in your life story, your social security card, birth certificate, marriage license, and you have no idea where that is. And we help you find that, get it for you, and put it into the file so things will keep moving along. And, and also then there is that, that's like, okay, there's all of these rules, and they seem to change continually as well. Yes, they do. About how much I can, I'm allowed to make, what, what I can hold on to. Right. What they're, so tell me a little bit about that process. I would think for someone who doesn't know the rules, that's very frustrating. It, it is frustrating. You know, People get, you know, the internet's a great source of information, but a lot of times it's wrong, and people get that information, it'll get stuck in their head, and we'll have to tell them, no, this is how much you can keep. And, you know, for uh, spouses, we'd be able to switch everything over to the at-home spouse. For a loved one at home, it, you know, uh, for a single person, excuse me, the situation's different. You know, they might not be able to keep as much money. 
Okay, freeworkshop.com, freeworkshop.com. You've got a couple of workshops coming up. I see Monday, March 9th at yep. the Hilton Garden Inn. And then after that, March 10th, Tuesday, for those who live in Indiana and in Clarksville, Indiana, right? Correct. Okay, what kind of subjects will be covered? Jeff, do you ever attend these? I'm sure a lot of folks have questions for you as well. I have not attended them. I'm more than welcome to, but they hand out my cards while they're there and they need, because like I said, it's a very sensitive subject. They've got a lot to cover gotcha. at that point. So, they, you know, getting that house in the market and talk with me can be done afterwards. And, and a lot of it's the legal side of it, correct? Right. That's correct. All right, Tim, tell us a little bit about that. Okay, so what will be addressed here? I see Denise Manicky Ice, who is an expert because she worked on the Medicaid side, so she was yes, accustomed she to telling people, no, I can't help you, but she knows the rules, and now she can tell people, yes, I can help you. We will go into the process a little bit, tell you what we can do. Then uh, another feature we do, we offer a one-on-one -on -one consultation, a free consultation a few days later. Then we'll get more into your specific circumstances you know about your finances and so on and start developing our plan from that point on for you okay for, for those but who we'll, may be we'll go gloss ahead. over some of the details give you a, a small sample of what we can do how you, we can help you what you might want to consider okay uh, Jeff for you is, is now a good time to sell a home maybe there's folks out there you know mom and dad say hey e even if they're not looking for an assisted living facility or a senior facility maybe they want to downsize get a condo is now a good time to put that house on the market absolutely we're in a major housing shortage right now but I always tell people if you ask a client I love to hear the answer here when's the best time to have your house in the market and they automatically say spring best time to have your house in the market yesterday there's always people working if it's if it's in fall if it's in winter the, what people perceive is the worst time no a house will always sell. There's always mm -hmm. people looking, but it is a major seller's market now, and the inventory is extremely low. So now is a great time to put it on the market. Yeah, and if you're thinking about attending, attending one of these workshops, again, freeworkshop.com. Right. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about our buddy Larry Weiss. We joke about Larry, but you know what? There's a guy who can keep a meeting, a workshop like this, entertaining. You guys agree? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Let's talk about that. <laughs> he does know his stuff, though. He, really he does, does know his stuff. Never a dull moment. Never. He's passionate. He's he, passionate. No, he is passionate. And, and he always says, I've surrounded my, myself with people who are smarter than, than myself. I don't mind being the dumbest guy in the room. And that's just good leadership. Because when you got a guy who says, I want an expert in every category so that we can save my clients money, that's vital, right? Absolutely. Correct. It's huge. Absolutely. And Steve Langdon's a big part of that from the legal side as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, that's all part of the team. Yep. Uh, Steve Langdon is a, an elder law and when I say elder law, I mean very specifically people who are in the situation you may be in. Whether your mom and dad are, you know, looking to the future and planning, that's smart. Whether they're in a crisis situation, then they need, they need to be moved now, that's smart. The bottom line is, save yourself some money, right, Tim? Correct. It's never too late. It is never too late. Don't go broke in a nursing home. That is their slogan. Again, let's put up that information, if you would, about the workshops we encourage you to attend. Uh, attend Monday, March 9th, Hilton Garden Inn. For those here in Louisville, that is at 6 p.m. And then a morning meeting across the river in Indiana at the Hampton Inn. That's in Clarksville, Indiana, and that happens at 10 a.m.